Hi everyone, my name is Nikita and I'm a customer success manager here at Oborg. Welcome to the grading and checking guide. Today we will discuss how the grading works, custom weights and confidence level. And finally, we will talk about how you can keep your teammates up to date with all the care changes by checking in. So let's start with grading. The grade for the objectives is always automatic, based on the nested items. However, you can always specify which nested items will contribute towards the completion of the objective. Or the opposite, you can set custom weights and decide how much impact a certain nested item will have on your objective. For the key results, the automatic grade works the same way, based on the nested items. However, you can always turn off the contribute for key results and set the grade manually. For the JIRA issues, the automatic grade will depend on which type of JIRA issues you have. For example, for the JIRA EPIC, the grade will depend on its tasks. For example, in case of G this JIRA EPIC, we have three JIRA stories under it, two of them are complete, which gives us a grade of 67%. 67%. If we have a singular story or task, in this case, the automatic status will depend on the resolution status of this JIRA issue. As you know, JIRA has three status groups. Gray to do, blue in progress, and green, for example, done. So for gray in blue, the grade will be zero, and for the green, the grade will be 100. However, we do understand that in a lot of cases that will not actually reflect the truth. The feature, for example, might be almost ready, but the status will be in progress and the grade of it will be still zero. So in this case, you can also switch to manual mode and adjust the grade yourself. So let's move on then. Now we know how the grading works, but we also have a confidence level that will represent the progress of your OKRs. Currently we have three different statuses. At risk from 0 to 40%, behind from 40 to 70 and on track from 70 to 100. Confidence level is a measure of how confident you are in achieving a particular OKR. There are also two modes available here. Automatic status that will depend on the grade current grade of your OKR and how much time actually passed since the start of this current time interval. And manual mode allows you to adjust the status yourself in case you believe that automatic does not work for you. So now we know what is a confidence level, now we know how to grade your objectives. It's time to do check-ins. Check-ins will help you to keep your team aligned and constantly updated. They can be made weekly, bi-weekly or monthly, depending on your organization's needs and pace of your projects. So for this purpose, we can use the comment section under each OKR. At the scheduled time, OKR owner or team lead can initiate the check-in by posting a comment in the dedicated space. The comment should include at least the following elements. The progress made since the last check-in, any challenges or obstacles encountered, and next steps and actions planned. So, for example, you see this key result, increase website traffic by 20%, and we have a check-in. The progress we've been We've seen a 5% increase in traffic since the last check-in. Challenges, the recent Google algorithm update affected our rankings. And next steps, we'll optimize our content for the new algorithm and increase our social media marketing efforts. As you can see, we also tag, tagged a person. So the mentioned user will receive a notification, alerting them that the check-in was made. Also, to foster collaboration, you can encourage team members to respond to check-in with updates, insights, and suggestions, making everyone informed and engaged. 
as the common thread grows over time, it becomes a valuable record of the progress of the OKR. Overall, using comments for OKR check-ins is a convenient way to maintain transparency, alignment, and engagement within your organization. It provides a structured and documented way to track progress and make informed decisions to achieve your objectives. That's it. Thank you, everyone, and see you next time.